This is 5 News at 10. We begin tonight with massive walkouts at schools all across the nation. Here in Arkansas as well. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Bob. Students across the country spend part of the day taking a stand against gun violence in America. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams shows us how students in our area are making their voices heard. Children, there are children dying from this. Wednesday afternoon, several students walked out during their lunch period to protest gun violence and advocate for more gun control. Every single week, we hear another story of another school being shot up, and we are tired. We, the people, are wanting and demanding action. We want gun reform now. We are tired of living our school lives in fear. We are here to learn, and with the thought of you know, lockdown drills and, you know, the thought that this might be the day we all die. In light of the deadly mass school shooting that happened recently in Nashville, Wednesday's peaceful protest happened at schools across the nation. April 5th is also near the anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting that happened in 1999. My little brother is 12 years old and he fears for his life every day going to school because something might happen to him. According to the National Group Students Demand Action, gun violence is the leading cause of death in American children and teens. Students say they want lawmakers to address real issues in the state. And our government has overlooked this hundreds of times and have done nothing about it. It is easier to get a gun than to get ADHD medication. It is easier for um, an Arkansan to fall uh, become a victim of gun violence and then to get their next meal. And I think those are real issues that they are not facing. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News. Alan Wilborn with the Fayetteville Schools says the district does not have an official comment on today's walkout other than to say these students were exercising their First Amendment right to freedom of speech.